Welcome. Welcome. Welcome back to Everyday A Scan, week three. This week I started to get a little bit more organized and decided if I want to make a weekly kind of series then it's going to be based around the same neighborhood or same environment. So on Monday I found myself in a district called the Haight and Ashbury which is basically an intersection of these two streets in San Francisco. People like the Grateful Dead and Janis Joplin all lived in this one very small neighborhood. So let's dive into it. This entire district is filled with interesting shops, interesting old Victorian homes, Eastern influence, Western hippiness, basically everything that made San Francisco to the place that it was in the 60s kind of originated from this little neighborhood. The first thing that really attracted my eye were these pair of legs hanging out of a window. It looks like a woman trying to break out of a house or break in, I'm not sure. So you can find these legs at the Piedmont Boutique, which is a costume and... Party wear, I guess you could say. Party or anything store. where you just like want to dress up. Because we got like the burners, the ravers, sometimes strippers. And drag store, <laughs> as they, I think they self-identify as that. That plays cool music right outside. and uh, kind of has a really cool vibe. I knew I wanted to scan the legs in their entirety, and you know what that means. It means busting out the drone. So I went across the street, hung out by the curb, quickly flew my drone, took a couple shots from above the shop and of the legs, and went inside the shop to talk to the people that are working there about what this whole place was about. Uh, what they told me is that there isn't a real meaning to the legs. Really, honestly, our boss just wanted something that would like stick out and make a statement. I don't know how they came with legs, but they just really just wanted something that would grab people's okay. attention. And guess what? It really worked. And the resulting scan actually came out pretty well. So, number 11 is the love of Ganesh. Now, this is, I'd say, probably one of my favorite things I've ever produced. Um, when I was actually scanning it, I wasn't too happy because I was like, I don't know how it's going to come out. There's a lot of things hanging. You know, there's a lot of details. The, the, it's an indoor space, which also means there's less light than there is outside. And I didn't have a tripod with me. However, where's the camera? Oh, this is the camera. The, the, the Sony A7R, like, God bless these Sony engineers. They do some amazing stuff with the sensors. I took around 130 images for this place. You can bump up the ISO to, like, 1500 2000 iso and still maintain pictures that have very minimal noise so walking into this store you're kind of like overloaded with this incredibly dense store with like crystals and buddha statues and himalayan salt lamps and it's kind of like walking through a bazaar in a completely different country this place really like i thought exemplifies the neighborhood around it and uh the people that you meet in there and the conversations that you hear are, are very much conversations that you expect to hear in the hate so i picked this little corner of the shop uh, that there weren't anyone in. I placed my phone down, started recording the sound around me while I took photos. And uh, the resulting scan is really cool because you can hear the sound of like the music playing in the background. You can hear the sounds of my, of my camera taking the pictures. You can hear a conversation behind me of this woman telling this other woman that she hasn't listened to Bob Marley in a while, but she is now. There's a lot of detail in this scan. Take the time and actually click through the Sketchfab link and zoom in on the details that I've left. I also left some point of interests in the Sketchfab scan so that you can go in and kind of fo follow my guided tour by clicking on the arrow buttons. I was super happy with how that turned out. So number 12 was the abandoned Victorian house. The reason why I picked this house, it's actually interesting. There was a line of these old Victorian homes that were completely renovated. like. 
beautifully painted, up up kept, probably worth around like three to four million dollars because this is San Francisco. I mean, within these multi-million dollar homes was this one Victorian house that seemed I don't know if it was abandoned or not. That was kind of an artist's uh, decision to name it like that. It's definitely not as well kept as the rest of the houses. And so it had a lot of character. You know, you can call it contrast between different lifestyles. I plopped my camera down, started taking pictures, scanned the stairs. I didn't want to like go up and like really get up close to the house because I didn't want to like, if there were people actually inside, I didn't want to like disturb them or creep them out. And then I launched my drone. So as I was launching my drone, taking a few photos, I noticed that there was a cop down the street that had pulled over someone. I was like, hmm, I'll, oh, it's done. I was waiting for a scan. Nice. Look at it, oh yeah. That's today's scan. So, story time and uh, cautionary tale. <laughs> so, I saw a cop down the street, so I wanted to keep my eye on, it. I, eye on him. Technically, I'm not doing anything illegal. This is public, this is not in a restricted airspace. I like to play within the rules, especially with something like a drone. However, no matter what you're doing, you, you probably want to avoid run-ins with the police flying for like under three minutes and um, and suddenly I hear a siren I immediately put my drone into sport mode and just fly it away it's just so I don't have to wait there while there's a drone flying in, in midair I wasn't sure if it was coming after me or what was going on looked around to see if it was if I was in any trouble it didn't seem like I was so I start walking away I'm trying to walk away from any issues that could have risen and um, I see a coffee shop that I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go in there. I start walking. There's too many cops around for me to keep flying this drone. I'm not liking this. I'm gonna go into a coffee shop. I, I have my phone in my hand, still, record, still recording. Um, and as I'm walking in, I hear another siren right behind me. And oh my God, I freaked out for a second. I turned around and that cop was just pulling over another car. <laughs> I was super scared, I don't know why. I'm just always worried about like arousing attention and I keep talking about them in these videos. And at least I'm trying to like exp show that if you wanna do this, you have to really be aware of your environment. You have to know how to like talk to people, if there's any questions that you need to answer. But sometimes there's just things that you can't control and you have to stay very versatile? No, very, but you have to stay on your feet. So anyway, nobody got in trouble, nobody got arrested, nothing too bad happened, but it definitely gave me a scare. The scan actually came out really well. The color of the sunset on the house really shines through. It's original paint, all the woodwork and all the ornamentation is all really visible. So check out the scan and, and download it if you want. Everything that I upload to Sketchfab is actually totally downloadable. It's open and free to use in your projects as long as you give back credit. However, something happened this week that I was not expecting. An artist friend of mine from Spain named Javier Cardona, aka Boltron, He's a 3D artist, incredibly good at like rendering these beautiful scenes and environments. He took two of my scans, the, the old Victorian house as well as the succulent garden, and combined them into this weird abstract forest that the house is covered in. He really blew my mind open in terms of like thinking more creatively when it comes to combining elements. It's this beautiful render from Octane and Cinema 4D, something that I had very little knowledge of, but it's really inspiring and it really pushes me to think of like, what are the, what are the novel ways of using photogrammetry to create beautiful looking art. You know, things that go beyond just measuring these environments, beyond just creating things for historical records, but to really create something new. Anyway, Boltron, thank you, man, for taking these scans and doing something cool with it. I really appreciated it. You should check out his work on Instagram and Facebook. And on the final day, which is today, on Friday, I'm working on number 13, which is this cool looking house, which is this yellow Victorian corner house that now has a shop named Gypsy down below. Like I said, the architecture of Hayton Ashbury really attracted me and, and all the paintwork of the houses are, are was something that I just hadn't seen on other places of San Francisco. Hopefully this one will come out well. But yeah, overall this week I've had to do a lot of other non-photogrammetry work and so 
I thought I'd rather capture a lot more things in one day and kind of and space out the processing throughout the week. I've been getting an incredible response to these photogrammetry scans on Twitter and Facebook, and it seems like people are really interested in this, which honestly, like, I'm really excited about because I didn't think this was a thing that people, because this isn't really anything that's popular yet in mainstream culture. I usually share a short video of what I'm posting every day on Twitter, so find me there if you haven't already. I also want to thank Alban from Sketchfab for sending me this t-shirt which is pretty sweet. Love this blue. Everyone, I want to thank everyone that's been reaching out to me and like encouraging me, which has been amazing. Seriously, like it's really hard for me to do something consistently every single day throughout like 30 days or even longer now. Your encouragement and support has just been like incredible. I'm hoping to do more videos, maybe even shorter or concentrated videos beyond the weekly recaps. If I get a new camera learn or learn something new, and hopefully turn this channel into having a few videos up a week. If you yourself have things that you wanna share in photogrammetry, please send them to me. I'd be happy to take a look and maybe even feature them on like a community episode. So on that note, I'm gonna go back to processing the scan and I'll see you next week.